Don't get the big head thinking of yourself more highly than you ought because you've been redeemed, because you have been rescued from the law of sin and death and God got a hold of you and pulled you out of your sinful lifestyle, put his spirit in you, his life in you. Now you're living a new life in Christ. Don't get the big head thinking you're better than somebody else. I think we all get tempted, you know, to think of ourselves better than somebody else. Somebody that doesn't know Jesus yet. Somebody that's living in sin, separated from the kingdom of God. Because sin separates us from the kingdom of God. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11, the apostle Paul said this. He said, and such were some of you, but you're washed, but you're sanctified, but you're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus by the spirit of our God. And in the previous scriptures, it talks about what this really is saying. It talks about being a fornicator, idolater, committing adultery, of effeminate, abusers with mankind, talks about homosexuality, talks about everything that's unrighteous, everything wicked, everything that's contrary to God and what he stands for. That's what it's talking about. And, and all of us were in some of these categories, maybe all the categories, but God got a hold of you. God pulled you out of darkness and brought you into his marvelous light. God redeemed you and rescued you from sin. Aren't you thankful for that today? We have a reason to rejoice, but we have no business getting the big head thinking we're better than somebody else, somebody that doesn't know Jesus. What are we doing? Are, are we you know, manifesting the love of Jesus to somebody? Are we sharing the gospel, our testimony about the, about the goodness of God? Are we manifesting you know, the life of Christ through how we carry ourselves. That's what we should be doing. We have no business to get the big head thinking that we're better than somebody else. We need to be praying for people. If God can redeem you, he can redeem somebody else. He's no respecter of person. Don't walk around and act as if God can't rescue somebody else from sin. Who are we to think that? I don't care how far in sin somebody is. They are not out of reach. The fact that they still have breath in their body tells me they're still in reach. God can get a hold of anybody. He got a hold of you. So have mercy today. Show compassion to somebody. Demonstrate the love of Jesus. And you never know what that could do. Somebody could wake up and come into the knowledge of the truth.